To become a basic user of the WPI Manufacturing Labs, you need to demonstrate that you have an understanding of the lab's general policies and procedures, that you have an understanding of how to safely use the hand tools available in the labs, and that you will follow and help enforce the lab's policies and procedures. In this video, we will review the operating principles of the lab. These are the fundamental principles that the procedures and policies are based on. The labs operate 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. In an average year, we'll see over a thousand individual users in the facility working on three or 400 individual projects. And, and you know, although we're housed within the manufacturing engineering program in the mechanical engineering department, we operate for the benefit of the entire WPI community. As you go through this training, you will notice that our policies do not contain long lists of may and may not do items. Now, of course, we have lists with specific may do and may not do things called out, but these lists are relatively short and they are not intended to be all inclusive. Instead, we expect our users to be informed, to exercise good judgment, to be aware of what's going on around them at all times while working in the labs, and to stop and ask for help when they get to the edge of their knowledge and if no one qualified is available to help them, to revert to good judgment and wait until help is available. If at any time when you're working in the labs, if you see an activity or conditions in the facility that you perceive to be unsafe, you must stop that activity at once. Take any prudent actions to mitigate the unsafe conditions or activity and then report the incident to a lab monitor and if instructed by the lab monitor to report it again by emailing near miss at WPI. These are the basic operating principles that we've based all of the policies and procedures on and if you understand these all of those policies and procedures will, will make fundamental sense to you and you will understand why we're doing the things that we're doing in the labs. To view and review these principles visit mfelabs.org, go to the policies and procedures page. The principles are listed at the top of the page.